Far Cry 5 was released a few months back. I played it, I actually really enjoyed it and I gave it a very positive review. Far Cry 5 isn't for everyone, but it happens to be a game that I really enjoy. I picked up the season pass and yesterday they released their first DLC. I wanted to give you a very quick overview of what that's about so you know whether or not it's worth logging in for it. To cut straight to the chase, this DLC is okay. I wouldn't necessarily recommend going out of your way to play it, but it certainly is enjoyable in its own way, especially if you enjoy the core Far Cry loop. The setting is Vietnam, a setting that we don't see often enough in video games these days and it feels like we're waiting for an awesome Vietnam game to drop. The story is very basic, you're part of a unit, it's crash landed, everyone's been captured, you now need to escape, you need to make it to your extraction point, trying to rescue your squad mates along the way. There's a very nice story cutscene at the beginning that feels very reminiscent of something like Blood Dragon. My job was to ride shotgun, that's why they called me Cowboy! Light those up. Sadly though, this cutscene is about as close to Blood Dragon as this DLC gets. Uh, the story pretty much wraps up after that cutscene finishes and that's pretty much it. In terms of the setting that the DLC tries to create, it's obviously trying to create this feeling of being in Vietnam, but it doesn't really work. I mean, I've never been to Vietnam, but I've seen all the movies and I think we all have a vision of what Vietnam is like in our heads. And this does not feel like that. It just feels kind of off. It feels like they've tried to use the Far Cry 5 assets here and they're not quite fit for purpose. The vegetation doesn't feel quite right. The layout isn't quite right. It's not dense enough. They're just, there's a quality to it that's missing that makes it feel like you're on a movie set rather than being in the real deal. They do make some effort to be a little bit inventive with this setting. There is a napalm covered field in the middle, which just exists for some reason and you kind of cough and splutter your way through it and then you walk out of it and you're done. There are also some interesting tunnels that you make your way through as well, which mirror what existed during the conflict. It makes some very light effort, but overall you don't feel like you're in Vietnam when you're playing this. It just feels not quite right. There's also no real effort at environmental storytelling. You don't find yourself stumbling upon certain circumstances and events going down that you get to witness that really make you feel like you're part of a broader story here. It really is just a case of NPCs populating checkpoints and you kill them. That's really it. I would have liked to have seen a little bit of an effort to, you know, have some things go down around you while you're making your way through all this. Make it a little bit more interesting than what we're seeing here. But unfortunately, that environmental storytelling is not present. Overall, I feel the story and setting just makes you yearn for a real Vietnam game that builds an authentic setting and uses it well. That doesn't happen here. Gameplay wise, it's very simple. You've crashed, you need to get from here to here. You can make a beeline for it if you like, but you'd be done in like 15 minutes at that point. You'd probably die anyway. It's not really the point. The point is to meander your way down this river, freeing your squad mates as you go and blowing up anti-aircraft guns and finding propaganda speakers and destroying them and, you know, killing enemy captains and all that sort of stuff. It's general Far Cry fare that we know and we've come to expect for the last little while. It's just in this sort of faux Vietnam setting. There's no real effort made to evolve beyond this gameplay formula, with the exception of the perk system. Now what this is, is on the right hand side of the screen, four little markers, each time you get a stealth kill, you get a perk and they stack up. And the more successive stealth kills you get, the more perks you get, the more powerful you become. They increase your ability to be stealthy, things like making you quieter or auto tagging enemies or x-ray vision, that sort of thing. If you ever get spotted, you lose all of those perks. You then need to get more stealth kills to re-earn those perks. It's a pretty good system, except for two main issues. Firstly, the perks are ridiculously strong. Auto tagging of enemies just means I can run through the entire map and then stop the minute I start seeing red markers on my map. Being basically silent means I can almost run up to someone before I can kill them. And X-ray vision just continues to be one of those things that I should be removed from games because it honestly just removes any of the tension that this stealth experience is trying to create. The other thing that ruins the perk system, trying to be all stealthy, are your idiot teammates. You will free them as you progress throughout the DLC. They will become your wingmen and they are the dumbest. They just yell and shoot all the time. They are the ultimate yahoos. It's like, they are awful. They completely destroy the stealth experience and I strongly recommend dismissing them if you're playing through this if you want to be stealthy. For me personally, I did the first half of the DLC without those guys so I was being quite stealthy and then when I freed them and I had them at my side, I kind of just ramboed my way through the rest of the game. 
it was kind of nice in a way because it was my own sort of personal apocalypse now where things start off very constrained and then get completely crazy the closer I get to the exit. But if you want to have a full stealth playthrough, your teammates will completely destroy that. So, general thoughts. This DLC is fine. It feels like a mod that a devoted community member could have very easily created, but it's very little more than that. It's best enjoyed when you have the house to yourself on like a Friday night and no one else is there and you've ordered a pizza and you just want to experience something that is contained and you want to do it in one evening since it only takes about three hours to 100% this. You can also co-op it, which is probably the best way to enjoy this, co-op play. And finishing it unlocks two new modes that will make it either harder or easier depending on your poison. It's out now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I didn't dislike it. I certainly would have hoped for a better quality DLC offering as part of the season pass, but I had an enjoyable three hours that ultimately just made me wish that there was a proper Vietnam game. So Ubisoft, if you could get to work on that, that would be great. Anyway. Thanks very much, guys. I hope the video was useful. I'll see you next time. Bye.